Hey Virgos, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your reading for October 2021. Let's go in with each other, you guys. Okay, we're going to shuffle this twice. Make sure we get a good shuffle on this. And we're going to cut these, okay? Spirit, there you go. We're going to find out what is happening with you guys here in October. Okay, Virgos? So, uh, all right. So you have fragmented energy. Are you guys feeling this energy? Feeling fragmented? Don't worry because things will come back together. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling here, okay? Things will definitely come back together. There's a lot of angels on your side, okay? Archangel Michael. Uriel, okay, uh, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, Archangel Raphael and Gabrielle, if I'm saying that right, I think I am. They're all working for you here. I'm seeing it right here, okay? So it's kind of corner to this card. So I feel like they're definitely working for you in every aspect of your life here, Virgo, whether you're trying to... Um, become more creative they're working on your uh, cre uh creativity or giving you the energy and new ideas to be creative to be bold to be courageous um to overcome challenges here they're helping you in the aspect of love and relationships professionally as well okay so this fragmented energy here um and then the, the number six is on here, which is uh, the lover's card in the major arcana. So it's making me feel like it's your relationships that you may be feeling fragmented in. Some of you guys, this is just your energy, your mind possibly feels fragmented at this time. Like you've lost a part of your heart and your mind. That's why you see the pieces missing on this card. Um with this woman here okay but this energy will not last things are coming together here okay you have the new moon in libra i believe okay happening uh, it started yesterday depending on where you are in the world it started yesterday some of you guys today here okay which is a lot of energy of uh renewal okay and um you're reinventing yourself that's what spirit is letting me know okay so they want you to uh honor the path that you're on here if you can see this it says the honoring path is coming up there's a lot of praise and success and attention virgo that is coming towards you here and you're going to get a lot of recognition for the work that you have put in towards your goals here okay i definitely feel this so let's clarify these um Two cards. Spirit, what message do you have here for Virgo? Where is inner uh, Virgo's energy for the month of October? You're on the honoring path here, but feeling fragmented. Oh, but you're you're such an alchemist here, okay? You have uh, so so much power and so many gifts, okay? Um, and I feel like your spirit team is letting me know with the magician card coming in that new skills are available to you there is a lot of potential for uh growth and opportunities and new adventures in your life will be unfolding success is meant for you and if you can't see this okay you're going to be front and center you're going to be the center of attention here okay so shine your light bright that's exactly what i feel like your spirit team wants you to know okay um going forward what other messages do you have here for Virgo spirit? Ooh, look at that. Abundance, okay? <laughs> it feels good when the Ace of Pentacles shows up. This is something new coming in towards you, okay? I feel like your financial uh, position uh, will improve. Um, since the Pentacles are coming in, this is about, yes, your financial and um the financial and business aspect of your life or area of your life here improving but they're definitely wanting you to plant new seeds and open up towards new opportunities and new ideas here okay this is a blessing this is a, a gift being handed to you uh from the universe here so welcome it with open arms here okay 
they're telling me this is on a tarot deck that I have. Give something your mind is touch. Give something your mind is touch. New opportunities that come in towards you, okay? Because I feel here, Virgo, luck is on your side, okay? <clears throat> um, luck is on your side. Excuse me. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at these major iconic cards coming out for you. Um, in order, <laughs> okay? You have the full and then you have the magician card coming in here. So you're moving forward. You're on the right path. Don't feel like... like Things aren't meant for you. Success is not meant for you, okay? Your spirit team is letting me know that this is a, a, a new phase in your life. Dive in. Dive into this energy, okay? They're also giving me the message with the full card that you need to abandon the old. Because on the traditional right away deck here, that person is walking away. Or the guy is walking away with a little knapsack or a little, yeah on a stick so he's taking very little with him and i feel like you need to leave things that do not resonate with who you are today here okay so open yourself up towards new experiences here and uh step into evolving yourself here because you're more powerful than you think okay virgo you have people coming into your life here um, professional assistance. Now you you could become the the assistant, um, or you are being assisted by others here. This could be in signing contracts. It could be in a legal matter. It could be in a business matter as well. But whoever this person is stepping into your life, as you can see, there's a whole library of books and information behind these two people. One of these people are. Um, that is you, okay? You, Virgo. And the other person is someone else that's coming into your life, okay? I feel like you guys together uh, are very intellectual, very smart, and you create something very significant together here, okay? I feel like whoever is moving in towards you, they have a world full of knowledge with them as well. So invite this person in to help you uh, achieve your goals here, okay? Something important is about to happen in your life with this card coming in. Who Whoever you're going to be working with or working for, um, I'm seeing that they're very professional and they take you to places that uh, you didn't expect you could go here, okay? A place of status, okay? And they recognize your talents and your potential here. That's what I feel, okay? You're going to have a whole new group of people around you. I feel like this is like a power play. Um, you're going to have powerful people that you collaborate with, okay? You have people in this picture here, um, or on this card it says people, and the card says friends and colleagues. So something significant is about to happen, Virgo, regarding business and contracts being signed, and you joining uh, forces with some very smart and powerful individuals that will um, help you become very successful in your life here, okay? Yeah, don't hold yourself back. Move into that energy here. I feel like uh, these people will be able to really help you elevate. Mm. Okay? Elevate. The Nine of Wands is like you guarding yourself like you. Yeah. Um, feeling paranoid about these opportunities. But I'm going to tell you, be prepared for these people to come in. I feel like they're like-minded people and uh, you need a team of people to work with you here to help you get to where you're trying to go here. Yes, for some of you, you're gonna be the leader, believe it or not, over time or initially here. You may step in as the boss with the Emperor card um, that's coming in or this is someone powerful, very powerful, and well-known that you're going to be working for. Um, and you're part of this group, okay? You're welcome in because someone sees your potential. And, um, yeah, I feel like you're going to be welcome into this group of people. This could be a new project for some of you guys. Open yourself up to it. And I'm saying that because this Two of Swords is coming out. Some of you guys may be thinking about old things that may have happened. People that may have taken advantage of you, okay? You may feel like... You want to pull back um, because you're afraid of the unknown here, okay? But I feel like with the Two of Swords, your spirit team wants you to look within uh, when you're feeling this type of tension and struggle mentally, okay? And really confront your emotions and your thoughts and do some inner searching, okay? Uh, inner soul searching, possibly do some meditation or some 
deep thought is needed before you move forward but your spirit team is wanting you to um balance your mind at this moment here okay and don't fight against these new places that the universe wants to place you in okay spirit is coming in saying they're working for you all of the angels that's what i'm saying here you have angels of the four directions are on your side here virgo so um don't be afraid to move into something new you have people coming in. Some of you guys are going to be taking uh, a position of power yourself or you're going to be working for others, uh, someone else here that's very powerful, okay? Some of you guys are going to be taking um, a position of coaching other people because of your experiences here. That's what I'm feeling with this teacher card that's coming in. Um, or you're just, uh, you're a counselor or teacher in a very powerful organization here that's something else that i am hearing okay Ooh, lord it's gonna pay you good <laughs> now this is not the ten of pentacles okay but it's still the six of pentacles okay which is letting me know that there's some important career opportunity that is about to present itself it's going to pay you good okay so financial rewards are on your side with the six of pentacles energy that's coming in okay they're telling me to look at the bottom of the deck and the knight of pentacles uh was down there for you here okay what other messages do you have for virgo they want me to take that okay so you have the eight of swords here you may be doubting your own abilities right now at this time but you don't you really don't have to do that, okay? I feel like you should check into this energy of change and valuing yourself. Um, and don't isolate yourself. Work with this team. Work with this company here. Um, and be a part of collaborating here. It's time for you to step out of your comfort zone. That's what I feel like uh, Spirit is saying, okay? People usually don't hire people they don't want, okay? <laughs> or invite them to work on a project or collaborate. If they don't think that you have the skill set, they won't do it. Okay, so don't doubt yourself here, okay? Um, don't doubt yourself as you go into um, some connection here, okay? You have the moon card that's coming in towards you. Yeah. And you have the three of wands that's coming in towards you, which is also talking about business here. OK, like I said, some of you guys are going to be a big boss. You're a boss, right? <laughs> There's going to be a lot of movement forward, a lot of planning with the three of wands, a lot of managing of a team or uh, a class. Um, when the three of wands shows up in your reading, it's about managing people. Um, so this is either your company or this is someone very important that you are working for but collaboration with others is really um heavy in your reading here virgo okay teamwork makes the dream work okay that's what i feel like spirit is saying let's get your final messages out this is big for you you have heart guardian coming in and is saying love and let yourself be loved. <laughs> love and let yourself be loved because you will be loved and adored. You will be. I definitely feel this energy coming in with this, uh, the honoring path. Okay. As she's standing there looking beautiful on the stage. Okay. Getting all the praise and attention for people are going to adore you okay so love and let yourself be loved you have this moon card that's moving moving in again towards you so um there's a message here i feel like they're definitely letting me know that you need to tap into your own energy and learn to adapt to change when you want to stay inside of your comfort zone don't do that okay learn to move with life's uh ups and downs twists and turns okay um because i feel like some of you guys have um 
a very creative and bold side of yourself that you want to be seen here, Virgo. And this is the time for you to really release the beast. Okay, so the moon card is saying take note of intuitive messages here because your spirit guides, okay? All of the angels here, all four of them that I named are here to assist you, okay? You have the broken arrow. They're saying embrace the energy of peace here. This will be a peaceful collaboration. You're going to be around like-minded people. That's what I'm seeing. You have mountains coming in, and your card is saying stand your ground here, okay? Because you may have some naysayers, <laughs> naysayers out there that meet that you know may be like not believing in your talents and not believing that you can accomplish something here, okay? And I feel like your spirit team is saying they're just afraid of taking the steps that I'm sending you to take, okay? So don't listen to that. Be bold, be courageous, and step into this new role that's available for you, okay? So we're going to get some more cards out for you here, Virgo. Your card is saying pretending to be a savage won't heal that a hole in your heart Okay, pretending to be a savage won't heal that hole in your heart, baby. Okay, you don't have to pretend to be a savage. Okay, you are a beast. You are forced to be reckoned with here. Okay, but if you are feeling this energy uh, with this two of wands coming out and let's see, this eight, not wands, two of swords in this eight of swords here. If you're dealing with some mental conflict, face it, turn around, face it. Face those emotions here. Thank the universe for the lessons and uh, the things that you have to take notice of in order to change and bring balance back into your uh, equilibrium, into your life, into your mind here. Acknowledge it and then move forward here, okay? Go through this healing process and know that you are still loved. You're still valued here, okay? That's why you have this card saying love and let yourself be loved here, okay? So your card, Virgo, is saying you know who the real OGs are. The ones who ain't got shit to hide from anyone. And that's why I'm saying be totally yourself in this new um, adventure that you're about to go on. Okay. Um, yeah, they're saying real OGs claim their humanity. They hold their wounds up to the light like Mus <laughs> Mufasa holding Simba. Okay. Can you hear that inspirational music starting? Yeah, that's you starting the hero's journey, love bug. Definitely, okay? What other messages do you have here for Virgo? Okay, Virgo. All right, they're saying prayer is dope as fuck. Yes, it is. They're saying seriously, spend a little time asking the universe for what you want. Even if you're speaking in into the void at the very least you'll hear your own wish list and get a better idea of what you really do want you might even figure out what the first baby step is to getting it at the very best there's a strong ass genie in the sky who will magically grant you all your wishes here okay is our fun let's get a few more messages out for you Too many. Too many. There we go. Okay. Your last card, or I'll get one more for you. It says, stick with the people who pull the magic out of you, not the madness here. And this is the new team. You may be scared because, like I said, you may have dealt with some people that were backhanded, that may have taken advantage of you, made you feel this fragmented energy here, okay? But, yeah, they're saying stick with the people who pull the magic out of you, not the madness. Your card is saying notice how you feel when you're with a person. If you feel like shit, don't hang out with them. Is that straightforward, for reals? They don't have to be bad as people. Uh, they don't have to be bad people for you to choose not to engage. It may just be your reaction to them. Even if you can't remove yourself from their presence completely, you can at least check in with the parts of you that gets crazy and give it uh, the love it needs. Okay. One more card, Spirit. And we won't shuffle these for long. 
There we go. Your last message here, Virgo, is don't be an ungrateful shit. I don't think y'all be an ungrateful shit. That's my Pisces talking. You guys are grateful? <laughs> don't be an ungrateful shit here, okay? Seriously. If you're reading these cards, you're privileged as fuck. <laughs> you can read. Reading is super fucking exciting. Think about how many generations of people didn't get to read. Fuck yeah. We're not completely fucked. We know how to read. Okay. So they're wanting you to be grateful even for the small things. Love. Okay. That we have an education. That we have an opportunity. Okay. To make our lives better. And you have so many opportunities moving in here. Okay. So they don't want you to hang on to this fragmented energy or feeling this lack. You are on an on a honoring path right now towards success take that into heart and roll with it okay that is your reading virgo thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading i do appreciate it make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell loves i will see you guys in the next reading bye